What's up everyone? Welcome back to another So Your Wife Wants You To. I am Steve-O and today I'm talking to you in a mirror because we are going to put together the two spring version of the Luminous Airbrush. So let's take a look here. Okay, here's all the parts that we have. So um, we have the, uh, I don't really know what all these parts are called, so we're just going to go through it. But this is the first part that we put in. So the, the, uh, the little handle piece does not seem to come out of this model. So the first part that we're going to put in is this part right here. And it's going to go to where it's leaning, like the little neck is kind of leaning in. I'll show you. So it kind of curves in. Just kind of let it fall. It's not going to be perfect until I'm going to have to twist it in. It's not going to be like perfectly held in there until we put the rod in. Which is... All right, I just dropped it. So don't feel bad if you drop it. It happens to the best of us. I'm going to let you watch me struggle because I want you to see kind of how I do things right and wrong. Basically, I'm putting it in and I'm kind of tilting this down. I know that's not exactly how it goes, but then get your rod, put it in, you can kind of play with it. Again, I'm, I'm letting you watch me struggle with this because I want, I want you to see. So we want to make sure that that is kind of leaning toward the little neck piece has to be leaning toward the um, the trigger. Let me turn the flash on. This is probably a little, maybe a little longer of a video, but again, I really want you to see that you're doing it right here. So. So you see, um, I got that piece coming this way. It's like kind of leaning to, it's bending toward the trigger. And that's what we want. So next, we can actually leave that rod in there. It's going to go through the trigger, or the, uh, through that little piece that I just dropped, basically. See how it's going through the hole? Yes, I'm putting this together dirty. Uh, I wanted you to see how it goes together, and um, I can link a different video on how to clean these things. But for right now, it is dirty, but you can kind of see how it goes together. All right, so you see the very tip? It has successfully gone through that piece we dropped, and then it's also gone through the trigger. There's a, there's a good so see, yeah, it's loose right now, but it's not going anywhere because it's been held in by the rod. So that's what we want. So push that all the way in. That's good. Next is this piece. It goes on the end of the rod. Sc screws in. You can kind of twist a little bit and you'll hear it kind of click in. It's like See, it goes like that, okay? Next is one of the two springs. It doesn't matter which one. Slide it on. The next, now, now you want to probably hold it like that. The next piece is probably the worst <laughs> piece on here. I don't know why they made such tiny little pieces that can get lost, but regardless, this is the next piece. A little copper O-ring. Then the second spring. Then this. And that is going to compress those springs. So press all the way down and start screwing. If you let go right now and it's not caught on some threads, this big silver piece will launch across the room. Then a spring will probably come off, and then you'll never find that little O piece. So please just be careful. Like press down, maybe use your second hand to really press down, 
make sure those threads are connected. I always call it paper towel tight. And by that I mean if I'm cleaning this thing and I've got paper towels to dry it all off, I kind of use the paper towel to grab it and tighten it. And as long as it's paper towel tight, you know, like a little bit tighter than just with your fingers. That's just my dorkiness coming through. Next, this piece will make this piece pinch the rod so that the rod will move. So that goes on, tightens down. And now these outside threads will go in there like that. So and then it is put together. Now let's test it out. We should see the little tip moving back and forth. Yep. And it's a little crusty right now because it needs to be cleaned, but that's it. All right, links in the description if you want any cleaning brushes or if you want to buy one of these bad boys, um, please just uh, have a look. Uh, find them on Amazon or whatever. Um, otherwise, let me know in the comments what you think, and we will catch you in the next video. Also, if you like just random how-to-do things type videos, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you on, and you can take a look at things around the house that I do. I'm always up to something, so we'll see you guys in the next one.